Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, I'm so hyped for this one, man. Anna's Revolution Dragon is now legal, uh, which means you can throw it in, and the deck was made for it, and it's pure odd eyes. Pure odd eyes time, baby. If you're hyped for some pure odd eyes, I want you all to smash the subscribe button. Let's hit 30, 32,000 subscribers real quick. So go smash the subscribe button. I want to give a big shout out to Yasin, who will be guest uploading. That's the odd eyes god himself. And yeah, this is pure odd eyes, boys. Pure Odd Eyes, just with a mini uh, a Magician Engine, like 5, 10 cards, something like that. But Pure Odd Eyes, is, this video is going to blow your mind. And if you guys love Odd Eyes, don't forget the best way to play Odd Eyes is on a beautiful Tune Electro My Clock playmat, baby. More beautiful than my girlfriend right here. Baby, I'm joking. Nothing, nothing is more beautiful than you. Except for my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, baby! Head this deck, let's go! You ain't no Celine. So if you're hyped for some Odd Eyes, smash the subscribe button and let's go, baby. Pure Odd Eyes time! Let's go! Hey, what's up, my sexy pendulum disciples? My name is Yasin, and today I'm actually blessed to be on Steven's channel because he actually requested me to showcase my Odd Eyes combo video and deck profile for him so before we start please subscribe to steven if you haven't already because he's the goat he's the pen god he is the one and only and after you're done doing that please like the video and then you can watch the entire video and once you're done that you can go on my channel to see like what kind of videos i make i am a big enthusiast of combo videos deck profiles testing videos and discussion videos so if it's the kind of thing you that you are interested in uh, you are more than welcome to uh, join us but uh, without further ado, let's jump into the combos. Alright, so this combo is like the bread and butter, you know, pen called Dark Word. Everybody knows how the ridiculously filthy this is. Uh, especially when you're- oh my god, it's just- Even if you get ashed on the pen call, you almost don't feel like bad or anything because you still have that Dark Worm in the grave. So it's kind of like as if you successfully resolved a foolish burial through like a hand trap. It's just the best feeling ever. You can get ashed on this and you can still combo off, don't worry. It's just that obviously if you only have pen call and Dark Worm, you can't, but- yeah, anyways, uh, this combo is a two-card combo that can play through Nibiru, so I'm going to show you the fork, where it will actually matter that you get Nibiru'd or not. So, because we're not gonna be making Appaloosa, we're just gonna hard, like, hard play through it. Okay, here, if your opponent Nibiru's you, because, uh, actually, no, that's for monsters. <laughs> Alright, okay, here, whatever, at any point here, if he Nibiru's you, you will have a Nibiru token alongside the O-Lion token, so you have two monsters, and you can make Line Full Inkis and Pendulum Summon 2 from your extra deck, and this will be able to, uh, you, you can turn, like, the White Wing with the Line Full Inkis into the Master of the Tenyi, and then you can turn the Dark Worm into the LP for, uh, to, well, to Special Summon the Amorph H Sloth, so... You can basically, I mean, you can, you can do much more than that, actually. You can even get rid of their Nibiru. I'm going to show this later on. So, obviously, if your opponent does not Nibiru you, well, you're going to make a, a Herald, and then you're going to be, like, 100% uh, safe from Nibiru, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. And now we're going to summon our token. We're not going to link it off into, like, something like Masters of the Ten yet. Uh, I mean, we're just not even gonna summon Masters of the Ten in this combo. Now we're going to scale everything up and Pendulum Summon from the extra deck. So, now, this is the part where, like I said, if our opponent had the Nibiru, it wouldn't have been a problem because we can actually make Ignister with these two guys. And we actually would destroy our Gate Zero, or like, I mean, not the Harmonizing because we're under Pen Call, uh, because I think it's like, destroy and if you do shuffle. So we get rid of the Nibiru and then they can't jump over the Amorph H Sloth because that would be the, like, the end goal. And the uh, Ignister can summon Luster from the deck, and we can finally turn this token into a Link Spider. Link Spider is only played so you can actually make Appaloosa, otherwise if you just want to make like a Skull Deed, then no problem, you can definitely do that instead. But Appaloosa is just like three more interruptions, just for fun. And now, you know, the, the Luster is going to turn into LP, into our Morph H Sloth. So, like I said, you can alwe already visualize this in your, hand in your head, how ridiculously easy that would be, even if you get Nibiru'd. Like I said, it's just make Ignister, like, shuffle back their Nibiru, and they cannot jump over the Morph H Sloth. So, you miss out on the Herald, and you do not end on Appaloosa, you only end on Masters of the Tenyi, LP, and Morph H Sloth. But I think this is definitely respectable, so. That was pretty much it for combo number one, let's get into combo number two now. Alrighty, so do you see something interesting with this hand? I mean, we literally really have like three odd eyes revolution dragon but this is really good and you don't have to open like three odd eyes a revolution dragon for this combo i'm just showcasing you how ridiculously easy this like this play is to like achieve 
because every card is like incredibly, it's a joke to search. You literally play, I think, like over 10 copies of Odd Ice Arc because you have the Spiral Flame Strike, you have uh, Iris, you have Revolution Dragon, and then same thing with Dark Worm. You have like so many Dark Worms because now even, yeah, and like Terraforming. Terraforming, Sky Iris, literally Odd Ice Revolution Dragon, Foolish Burial Ravine, all, I mean, Shrine, <laughs> all of these cards can search Dark Worms, so you really don't need to like hard draw these cards specifically. But as long as you have like a, a way to see these three cards in your opening hand or like something that looks similar to that, you can definitely uh, do the combo. I mean, even if you don't draw like Odd Eyes Persona Dragon and you draw the Synchron instead, you can still do the combo because we're only going to Pendulum Summon one monster and that is the Supreme King Gate Zero, which is ridiculous, right? So just off of Pendulum Summoning one single monster, just look how explosive this is going to be. So. Remember guys, uh, before the game plan was to make Electrum before the Pen Summon, now Electrum is unfortunately no longer in our reach, in our grasp, so unfortunately we cannot do that anymore. But what is the best thing that Gate Zero can get us? It can actually get us Phonon Pulse Dragon, and this card has a really crappy effect, but we don't care about that because it is a level 4 Dragon Tuner. So it fulfills two roles. Not only is it a tuner for Needle Fiber, it's also a dragon for your uh, Guard Dragon plays. So if you don't have access to Dark Worm, but you hard through the Gate Zero, for example, well, the Phonon Pulse Dragon would be here to ensure that you can still Guard Dragon combo, which is really good. It's a neat trick that I used to do in 2018. I actually have very old videos showcasing... Uh, you like gameplay with this card. So now we're going to do a really cool chain link with Aud when, uh, with Odd Eyes in chain link one and Gate Zero uh, going into the scale as a chain link two. And Odd Eyes is going to special 70 Odd Eyes Synchron, which is very, very good because we can now make a free level nine synchro, but we're not going to do this yet. Uh, Needle Fiber is going to summon the O-Line, which I guess is one of the one of the two slash three bricks that you play in the deck. There's that and a Morphic Sloth, but... Every single Pendulum deck would play at least one or two breaks anyways, if you want to have like a high ceiling combo. So Link Cross is going to summon your two monsters, I mean your two tokens, you're going to make Metal Marsher, revive back the O-Line, and then yeah, you get your token, this is just ridiculous, right? You're going to make a Herald, and now we're going to make Trishula Fusion! Yes, Trishula Fusion by banishing three monsters with different names. They don't have to be dragon. You just get a bonus effect if you use dragons, but you really don't need to go uh, all the way there. And now we're going to make Ravenous Crocosaur draw one card. It doesn't matter what you draw. And we're going to make VFD. So absolutely fantastic combo. It is really e easy to achieve. And just to prove you how incredibly easy that is to get, we're going to show you a third and final combo where our hand is significantly worse and we're still going to pretty much end on like the same board literally. So let's get to it. All right, so this is like a pseudo- 2.5 card combo that isn't really a 2.5 card combo because we draw cards and we need to like use one or two of the cards that we drew but basically all we really need is odd eyes synchron per, uh, pendulum call if we had like something else like odd eyes revolution dragon then the combo would legit be like it, it would it would be a joke it would be way too easy but that that's why i'm trying to showcase hands where we don't necessarily have like the best so we're going to pen call for we have to like specifically get Ove Dragon, but harmonizing it's just like insurance policy. Like the thing is, if you draw a high skill, then the harmonizing is very very good because you don't need to use it as a high skill, but you can actually pendulum summon it, so you end on just more monsters. But we're not going to be that lucky, unfortunately. So the Odd Eye Synchron is going to special summon the Ove Dragon. Now you might be like, I don't see where this is going. Are you gonna make like Boral Savage with no equip, no negates, and pass? No, 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 no. We're gonna make Ignister because Ignister is also a needle fiber starter since it summons Luster from deck. So Odd Eye Synchron is shockingly very, very good at making uh, needle fiber before Pencil, I mean, which, like I said, is the new gameplay. Uh, game plan. <laughs> Needle Fiber is going to summon the O-Line. Everything here is just very standard, very normal, but it's not going to be standard for too long because the Metal Marsher and the O-Line will get their effects. And now we're actually going to make a Synchro that I showcased in... I believe it was my Ad Emancipator combo video. Uh, it is Cybers Integrator. There was nothing interesting about this. It's just when it leaves the field because it was like, I think Synchro Summoned. You draw one card and we're going to make Ravenous Crocosaur, which draws two cards because we used two non-tuners as the materials. And the Cybers Integrator draws one card because it just, uh, it was sent to the graveyard. So we draw three cards. And like, like you can, as you can see, my hand, my draws were not the greatest. Because it, it kind of just feels like the worst timing to draw Shrine and or Foolish, right? And Gate Zero is just like, 
that card that people just consider brick uh, like a brick but dragon shrine is shockingly insanely overpowered to draw in this very situation and thanks to shrine we can do a gigantic board I am literally not even kidding you, and there is no Destrudo, no BS, so this Dragon Shrine is going to actually send the Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon, yes my guys, Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon, because Ove Dragon can actually recycle back an Odd Eyes monster from the graveyard when it is Pendulum Summoned. So, we get back the Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. Now, I feel like the, the thing that you're probably thinking right now is, oh, you're probably gonna use the Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon's effect in the hand and search like a Dragon Pendulum? No, 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 no. <laughs> We're way cooler than that. We're gonna do way more than that. So, the Odd Eyes Synchron is going to summon the Gate Zero here. Okay. Um, if you don't have Gate Zero, then it probably would have. It, it should have been like another, like, level 7. Uh, low scale or this would have been like i don't know like a level 7 high scale or something like that because you really do need to make that cloud castle which is going to revive back the ravenous crocosaur but even then even if you didn't get uh, to that point it's not too hard to make like a level 9 synchro in this deck if you pendulum summon a harmonizing magician that's already like a level 9 synchro because i play acrobatic magician so it's a level 5 mount tuner you can use that in a hard mode to make Cloud Castle revive back your Ravenous Krakazor, and that makes your VFD. But now we are not done yet because we're going to scale the Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon and use its skill effect to revive back Ignister. Yes, and Ignister is going to summon Luster again because, yeah, it's it's literally that insane. And we're going to make Apple suffer 3, make LP, and summon a Morphic Sloth again. So literally the exact same ending board with a significantly worse hand. It's just... You are trying to dig your deck for draws, and if you can get there, well, good for you, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for the gombos. Now let's jump into the deck profile. Alrighty, so for the deck profile, as you can see, I'm playing three Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, which is just a given. I mean, the card is really that good. You can't really afford to play Summoner's Art, because then you just clog on too many cards that only search Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. I mean, Spiral Flame Strike, in theory, can also search the Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon, which is the other good level 7 Odd Eyes monster that you get to play. Odd Eyes, uh, Spiral Flame Strike only searches a level 7. It doesn't search like level 7 or higher, so you cannot search the Performer Pal Odd Eyes Dissolver, which is the card that would usually allow you to make Vortex Dragon. And that's the reason why I'm not playing it. I just feel like it's too situational, and it's not really natural in the deck. I mean, if you're really trying to make Odd, uh, Vortex Dragon, then your ending board isn't like really fat. It's just like Vortex with like maybe one other negate. But that's just, you know, that's that's for little girls. I'm trying to make at least five negates because that's the gameplay uh, game plan. Oh my god, stick to the game plan, make as many needle fibers as you possibly can. So yeah, three Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, three Revolution, <laughs> no shit. Uh, outside of Revolution, I feel like everything can be obtained for like literally less than 20 bucks. I think I'm not even exaggerating. This deck is dirt cheap. Like, it's, it's worth nothing. I feel, I think even O-Line is, like, more expensive than every single card on, like, this row. It's, it's that crazy. I mean, I think Gate Zero is, like, worth, like, maybe three bucks or something. I, I forgot, like, the value of cards, but... Yo, come on, like, you have no reason not to be able to build something like that. It's super cheap. Even the extra deck outside of, like, Appaloosa, and you don't even need to play Appaloosa. If you want, you can play, like, Skaldit, and, you know, that, that can get you some more draws. Maybe make, like, a Hieratic Seal at the end of the combo, since it is a dragon. But yeah, uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm also playing three Persona Dragon. Persona Dragon is, like, a... Out of all the bad Odd Eyes that you can play, it is the one that is actually quite a, quite good because it gets to negate a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck, I believe, during either player's turn while it is on the field. And in the skill, it has, like, it doesn't have the best effect out there, but whatever. I mean, that's, like, an issue that I had with Odd Eyes cards, but at least it has a very good uh, low skill, uh, and it's an Odd Eyes card, which is what matters. Oh, yeah. Three Odd Eyes Synchron. This deck tries to abuse the Living Pancake out of this card. It's really, really good because it allows you to spam. I mean, like I, like I just showcased you in the combo, it allows you to make Ignister, uh, which gets you to make Needle Fiber, or you can make Ravenous Crocosaur, Cloud Castle Revive Back, and then make an easy VFD. Chishula is that, that level 9 that you can, like, make... It just feels like you're cheating when you're making Trishula because you're banishing three really crappy cards to make like a level 9 and that's already 50% of a VFD and VFD means skip your opponent's turn which is not fair. It's literally almost on the level of Zexel depending on which deck you're playing against. Obviously it has... I want to say to a certain extent it has the same flaws. Mm, depends. It doesn't get ogred. I mean, yeah, it, uh, the thing is, <laughs> they, they would ogre you on your turn, but uh, yeah, it still loses the gamma and uh, st stuff like that. But anyways, uh, three Dark Worm, obviously, you're trying to draw this card. Gate Zero is just incredibly good because it triggers the Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. You really want to destroy yourself as much as possible because... 
Yeah, I know that's kinky. Destroying yourself is actually very good for card advantage. Uh, shockingly enough, in odd eyes, yes, I know. Uh, two luster pendulum, like I said, destroying yourself is good, but actually that that doesn't work because it clogs your. Uh, <laughs> it actually uses up like a spot in your um, skill. But luster pendulum is actually involved in the Ignister combo, so that's why I'm playing it. This deck is still considered a pure odd eyes deck because, as you can see, the the Magician engine is just so ridiculously small that I barely consider it an engine. I mean, Ove Dragon is 50% Odd Eyes, 50% Magician, because it searches like an Odd Eyes card in the graveyard uh, when it is special summoned. And then Acrobatic Magician, I mean, that's only something that you're trying to special summon with Harmonizing, because you're playing 6 Pendulum Calls, so that is realistic to only play 1 Harmonizing. And then, like I said, you make that level 9 Synchro. White Wing Magician is involved, it was involved in the first combo, because you're trying to make Ignister. Uh, Acro, uh, sorry, Perform a Pal Celestial Magician. I don't think that's needed. It's the one that I actually never really am interested in, but it can search like a Pendulum Monster during the end phase and it stops your opponent from responding if you have like a Synchro uh, to your monster effects. And then a Morph H Sloth, obviously, that's the monster that you summon with LP. O Lion is evolved in the combo, blah, blah, blah. Uh, three Duelist Alliance. Uh, the Duelist Alliance can also search for Odd Eyes Art Pendulum Dragon, which is very sweet. A uh, Dragon Shrine. You can actually. If you have access to Ove Dragon and you really want to send the Dark Worm, I should, uh, you should probably send the Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon first and then search Dark Worm because when you Pendulum Sound that Ove Dragon, then you get a free recycle because in Pendulum decks, it's really hard to trigger the effect of Ove Dragon when it is special summoned. But if you can actually send cards from your deck to the grave, then that just, that condition is suddenly much easier to fulfill. Pendulum Call, I mean, that's another card that can get cards to the grave, so that's sick. But like I said, Pendulum Call, discard Dark Worm, which, like I said, now is just insanely easy because you you don't really play, like, five Dark Worms anymore. You play, like, 65 billion, like, three Revolution, three Sky Iris, Terraforming, uh, all of that, etc. So, yeah, nasty. Terraforming for three more copies of Sky Iris. Bullish. It's basically like a worse shrine, but at the same time, it could send O-Lion. So if you're trying to break a board going second, it could be decent. And then three Flame Strike. Three. Actually, there is something that I want to say about Flame Strike and Sky Iris. Both of these cards, in a really cute way, out Mystic Mine because Flame Strike can also target a card on the field and destroy it if you control an Odd Eyes monster, which is very easy because you play like twenty billion. And then Sky Iris can destroy your own cards to ser search like Odd Eyes uh, monsters from your deck, uh, Odd Eyes cards from your deck to your hand. So if you can actually just link everything on off into like one big link and destroy it, well, you have no monsters on the field, so the Mystic Mine dies during the end phase, and then Flame Strike would be able to destroy I don't know like the field barrier, for example. So you can pretty much uh, with with like a combination of these two two cards you can definitely break the field barrier and mystic mine on game one so that's why you shouldn't really be too afraid of mystic mine i mean most pendulum decks i feel they, they don't even lose to mystic mine in a way like even if you only play like monsters like big daddy and Dimian can clear mine stuff like that so yeah anyways uh, for the extra deck, I mean, Trishula Fusion, now you actually know why it is involved here. Ravidus Caucasor, Cloud Castle, Ignister, Phonon Pulse, Herald, Cyber Integrator, Metal Marcher, VFD, Needle Fiber, uh, sorry, Appaloosa, Needle Fiber, Lenfolinkus, LP, Link Spider, and Link Cross. All of those 15 cards were used in the combo, that is why I'm not going to explain anything at all. For the idea section, now that's the idea section, that was the extra deck. The idea section, we play Gravity, uh, Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon and Odd Eyes Advent. The Herald of the Arclight, when it is linked, uh, when it is sent uh, to the graveyard. By the way, you can even like send the Herald with like their effect of Maximus Dragma in order to like search the Odd Eyes Advent, and then you can search Gravity Dragon like easier thanks to Flame Strike. You can actually just like clear a whole board of trap cards going second because they cannot respond. Like they cannot strike the Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon because it's just like a quote unquote spell speed 4, like it's basically like super poly, but they can respond to the Odd Eyes Advent, which is in a way kind of problematic, but not really, because most ways of like, I mean, what what can they really do? Like Chain Imperial Order or like, I don't know, Solemn Judgment? That's it, honestly. But yeah, Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon cannot really be dealt with, and against Altergeist it's just like your, the way you win, honestly. It, you, you really have to focus this deck on Gravity Turbo when you're going second. I mean, that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, Performer Pal Odd Eyes Dissolver. I could have actually showcased combos with this card, but it wouldn't have made this deck any but like it would. This deck wouldn't be budget friendly because then you have to play three Magician Souls. You gotta play stuff like Celine and stuff. I mean, Celine isn't that bad, but Magician Souls 
it, I can understand why people don't really want to spend money on that because it is just a lot, a lot, a lot of money, especially on a game that is kind of dead right now. So, yeah. Uh, Vortex. Chao Feng is like a decent one. If you don't want to make Ravenous Crocozoar, you summon Chao Feng and then you pop it with Sky Iris. You can search like an Ash from your deck to your hand or a Harmonizing, which is actually nasty. And then you can revive it back. Uh, Harmonizing can special summon back the thingy acrobatic and then you make cloud castle revive back chow fang trishula is also remember when i made the ravenous crocozor draw two instead of doing that you could have actually made the trishula and you can then like in like the second time instead of making cloud castle you make crack uh, ravenous crocozor and then you draw one card only so you're at two draws instead of three but then you can revive back the trishula by using the skill effect of revolution dragon because it can revive any dragon synchro a fusion or exceeds from your graveyard. Uh, Crystal Wing, that's that's just... I don't even know why this is here. Uh, Juning Riser, this is good if you're trying to make the King Calamity like combo, but it's not uh, not too realistic, unfortunately. Uh, Eyes Absolute Dragon, uh, it, it, this is impossible to summon. Boral Sword, Monk of the... Uh, yeah, Draco Masters of the Tenyi is involved in the combo where you get Nibiru with the two-card combo of Pen Column Darkworm. It's just that I couldn't really fit, like, fit this card in the deck, unfortunately. So, if you... If you find if you find that something doesn't really come up too often for you, then definitely feel free to include Draco Masters of the Tenny in your deck because it does allow you to break boards mm, more often going second because you can play through interruptions and still guard dragon combo. But I don't know for me it didn't really come up. Mascarina and Unicorn definitely no way in hell you can actually summon this. It's just uh, it's just like you, the extra deck is just way too tight and it's also very naggy. And then Hieratic Seal, in case you want to play Scaldit instead of Appaloosa, like I said, it's completely doable. And finally, Pistia, which just, uh, I couldn't really think of any combos with this card. But anyways, that's pretty much all I had to say and showcase for this combo video and deck profile. So once again, guys, make sure you subscribe to Steven's channel, The Absolute Goat, The Absolute Legend. And then, um, yeah, you can go ahead and check out my channel if you want to. But that's pretty much all I had to say. Thank you very much for watching. And guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.